Hey guys, Blocky T here, playing some one v one League Joust. Uh, as I'm sure you guys know, the new uh, the new patch brought a it brought a lot of changes, and one of those was one v one Joust being removed from the normal queue, uh, the like casual queue, the regular queue to League queue. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I I mean I enjoy. The best thing of, about this, I think now, is bans in one v one, because you know there are like four or five gods in the game that are just essentially unstoppable you know like it, like you can't stop them 1v1 like the counter to those gods like Kronos or Freya or like Zeus even is teamwork but 1v1 just there are no teams okay so they ban Kali and they ban Loki alright uh, I'm gonna try out AMC uh, I did upload a 3v3 joust SM yesterday and I try to put variety in these but AMC is a solo laner I'm trying to get better at and there was a bunch of Artemis not that long ago, so AMC versus Neath. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Very easy versus easy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Neath's gonna have some pretty good sustain from her too, but I also have sustain from my hive, so this is going to be interesting just in and of itself. But all right. Oh, okay. Match match already start. I see. Sometimes I edit that out, but it's really not necessary. Uh. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Two hunters going against each other. And so far, this is my second game of 1v1 League so far. I'm having mainly positive experiences. I'm ac I'm actually pretty excited for this because I'm a big f Hot, we got the Titans of Order. Suck it. Because, like, look look at these guys. It's like, like... Like, you're like, okay, it's just two people joined together. No, it's one person. You're like, one leg, one leg, one wing, one wing, two spears, but one arm on each person. But they're just holding hands there, so it's like they have to work together, and it's super cool. L like, their attack animations are just great. Oh, beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna screenshot that. That is awesome. Uh, it, it, I just really... It, every time hi -res does anything with art, I just love it. Alright, so we got another Nia here. Yeah, AMC versus Nia. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, probably am... Sorry about that. Probably am gonna have to buy Aegis just because of her alt. Uh, whoa, she got HOG. Who does that? Who buys HOG right away? Who, who, or who's that type of person? Uh, I mean, I guess Neath does have pretty poor wave clear, but still. Actually, her wave clear is not bad at all. I mean, it's just auto attacks and stuff. So now we're a little behind in gold, but she's gonna have a full minute before she can do that again. And until then, I think she's gonna have to be doing some pretty mana-hungry stuff. Wow, she's not trying to trade auto attacks at all. She's just... Going straight to it, just not, not, not really trying too much. Put that over there, cause that's the thing. If you put a way over, if you put it too close to the edges, they're just like, oh, hive kill. And I, I'm honestly, oh, got to back off from that. Yep, knew it. That's the thing, though. I kind of know how to play against Neath too. I'm, I, I have experience against Neath. Uh huh. And she's almost out of mana too, which we're doing great, and we haven't even used our mana potion yet. So, they're doing good. Oh, she's got three, though. So, not worried about that too much, huh? Huh, Neath? But she is using abilities at a, an alarming rate. Though, we do have to be careful how low on health we are going to get. Because I don't want her just to... Uh... Oh, I don't have my three. D I just put down that high for nothing. But, hey, you thought it was going to happen, too, cowboy. Uh-oh. Uh Alright, I was getting a little spooked there. Okay, well, I have my all. And if this... If this hits, which it didn't, I was gonna say that that was gonna be a kill. And it wasn't. This happened last video. And let's find out if this goes through... Oh my gosh. I'm so frustrated with myself right now. You, you, like, you don't understand. Oh my gosh, and she's just staying. She's just staying. And I don't have anything. No! Oh, it's so frustrating. It's all because I missed my stupid all. Stupid, stupid, blocky, bad. Alright, so I got my honey. Alright, I'm just gonna go back. No sense in me staying here. Uh, she lost enough gold to the tower that I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, I'll buy this. It's a little cheaper, so... Uh, 15 pins probably not going to help me that much. Uh, after this, I think I'm actually going to go straight into Devourer's Gloves. 
because as far as mana hungry goes, AMC is kind of mana hungry, but Neath is a lot more mana hungry. Like, look at that. She did her backflip uh, spirit weave combo to clear the wave, and she's down a lot of mana already. I mean, I, I, I'm, I haven't, I don't really play Neath, but e even I know that just from playing against Neath, and she got, she got that early game pin, which is super powerful for her. I, j I just gotta stick it out. Just gotta put that, try to put that in the wall. It'll all turn out good. Alright, just stay back, clear the wave. Stay back, clear the wave. Stay back, clear the wave. Hit in the wrong one. <laughs> uh, actually, let's see. Oh my gosh, why can't I hit anything? Why? Why? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I swear. Sometimes I'm just so so bad at hitting auto attacks. It, like I I just derp out and I can't do it. But we got her there, which I'm glad. I I, I felt like we should get her there, but we got to go back. I blew my health potions. No sense in staying here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pick up the Bowers gloves, uh, pretty quickly. I I I I'd like to get those soon. All right, good health potions. Uh, this is my this has become my standard thing to leave out a base with, but like under level 12 or 10 or so. I mean, right now, you know, this, I, I'm carrying 500 health with me in a bottle. That's pretty nice. So, I mean, I'd like to keep that. Uh, she does have HOG, but but once my 2 hits the next level, uh, it's it's going to be over, essentially. Uh, I, I, it's going to clear the wave almost instantaneously. Wow, she's really... I, I got it. She can hit her auto attacks. That is super good. Like, I, I, I can't do that. Uh, just... Yeah, I. Okay, blow blow it up. Waste your mana. I'm okay with you wasting your mana. I mean, it's it. I mean, it gives her a lot more push, but sacrifices so much mana for it. I'm honestly not sure. Is it worth it? And we're gonna go for the stinger. Uh, once our two comes back, we probably should be able to get her. All right. Uh, good news. She is completely out of mana. Bad news. She's retreating twice. Okay. Does she even realize she got hit? And, oh, is that gonna get her? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. We made her go back manually to base, and we're manually to base, and we're gonna get some tower push on her. Uh huh, so I, I'm just gonna sit here, push her tower. Uh, I don't even have pin boots, but wow, we're doing a pretty good amount of damage. <laughs> Do towers now scale, like, with time or something? Actually. Whoa! That came out of nowhere. Alright, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm low on health, I'm low on mana. I know her alt is down at least, but... Uh, okay, we made it. But I want to finish off Devourer's Gloves just to get that going. And then after that, I'm actually gonna... What pen can I build? I can build Titan's Bane. Uh, I kinda want some attack speed. I'm I'm gonna go Chin Size, still. Uh, even after the Nerf, uh, I do like Chin Size just because of the... I think that in a ADC ADC duel they're still pretty useful. I'm not. I already have my life. I when I'm playing a hunter in one v one joust, I like to get three things. I like to get life steal, and I like to get something that makes sure I can win in a one in a, like in an auto attack duel. Essentially, no matter what, that's what I like to do. So all right, we'll do that. Hit her up. Uh, miss. I I gotta hand you. She's very good at moving. If if, if you know what I mean. Like, she's very good at positioning herself. Not too good at hitting attacks. Actually, we should, uh... She's probably gonna be out of... Essentially out of mana to do anything. Uh... Yep, she... She's dead. That's... That's all there is to it. But she's very good at moving. She's very good at trading blows, hitting auto attacks. And, yeah, I, you're just... It, when you can... If I can tell when I'm hitting the tower by the tower's health bar dropping, I'm... I'm going to... Just go for it. All right, though, going back. You know, I was thinking about buying Taden's Bane, but we're snowballing pretty hard. We're already two levels ahead, which, in one v one, I don't know. It's, to me, it almost seems like the differences are exaggerated. Like, you know, you get what I mean there. All right, I'll just snag this, uh, just for her alt. Uh, like, like you know, say we go pretty ham dueling over the Phoenix and. I get away at low health, she goes for the all I, I want to be able to, you know, avoid that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, she didn't miss it. I think that her alt's biggest window of opportunity, if you understand what I mean by that, is early game. Like, level... F like, not like not here. It's not as good here as I think it is elsewhere. Uh, wow, she's really... Uh, she knows she can outdo me. She knows I have trouble hitting my auto attacks, but... Uh, it's just I'm a higher level. She can't do that. She, If I'm fed like this, she can't just go ham at me and expect me to hit no auto attack. She has to... Uh, the only way she's going to win this is by hanging back and getting some stacking items. Uh, like right now, she's got Warrior Tali Chin Size. Chin Size, not so good to warrant a second item anymore. Uh, if they gave Lifesteal, yes. Because if they gave Lifesteal... Literally everything an ADC could ever possibly want in one item, yes, you would get that. Now I got Chinsai. Now that I got Chinsai, she's basically never going to be able to... That was weird. Like, look, they, they switch places. Like, I, like, while I was walking through the things, they switch places, but... Oh, well. This isn't too good of a match, either. The first match I recorded wasn't too good because I lost pretty hard. Careful. But look, I have Chinsai's, too. Look, look at how much damage you're taking. There you go. Good. But I don't know, you could backflip through it. I can still see you. Here, I don't... I'm gonna go easy on her. I, I could have gone in there for the stinger, got the kill pretty easily. Uh, but I'm just gonna hang back, push. Uh, cause she's doing good and I don't want to discourage her. I'm gonna give her a little bit of leniency. Not like, you know. I mean, it, she is going to pay, you know. Because if you go back to base, you lose this. And I mean, if I had Tatum's Bane right now, this Phoenix would be dead, essentially. I mean, uh, honestly, I, I would much rather push the Phoenix over... Shoot, just about. Okay, she's not there. I'm like, it's probably... It, it doesn't matter how far I'm ahead. It's, well, I thought it cost 1200 for the second tier of Tatum's Bane. Dang it, I messed up. Oh well, it very Titan's Bane's very cheap item. I like getting on an AD season one v one because like since you're the only one pushing the tower, it it just gives you so much more penetration on the Minotaur and just structures in general. So okay, yep, girl, you can't. <laughs> I don't know why she tried to initiate with that. I I don't know much about Neo. I don't do Neo solo. However, what I do know, okay, zone her off of that. Look, look, I I I can kill you right now with auto attacks. This this might kill you. This will kill you. Okay. She's just... She's not watching her health part. That's all there is to it. She's just relentlessly attacking and it's not going to help. Alright. That was interesting enough game. Sure enough. I might, like, stitch it together into another video. But, oh well. Uh, I'm Blocky T. Uh, that was a pretty good game. That Neef, she knew what she was doing. She just... Not, not fully polished yet. So, alright, uh, I'm lucky. You know, that might be because I, I've only had two matches in the league so far, so I'm not in my right bracket. Like, I played Al Kuang, lost pretty hard. Now, sorry I wasted your time. Hmm? You were good. I thought this was a... <laughs> I thought this was a... <laughs> I thought this was... <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I thought this was a read on me. <coughs> no, I'm terrible at what we want. It, it's just... It, you were... Okay, you were... You were good at... You, she was... You were good at hitting your AAs. You, she just didn't know when to stop. <laughs> well, you just didn't know when to stop. Okay, so they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a read -a league. Okay. I, I guess I have to throw this video out. I, I don't want that. I don't think that's a really a valid match, but okay. I'm Blocky T, and if you enjoyed, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye bye. And there may be another video after this. So if, if the video is like half an hour long, there's another video after this. So stay tuned. Okay, so be right back. Maybe, or goodbye. I don't know. Hey guys, Blocky T here. We're playing some 1v1 League Joust. And uh, I'm sorry if I already said this in the video preceding this or already, but as I'm. Tier. That's a, that's a weird pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick Freya. But as you know, the last patch changed a lot of things, and I probably used these exact words if you already did hear it. But the last patch changed a lot of things. One of these things was 1v1 Joust being moved from the normal queue to the Lee queue. So now we have bans. Thank all that is holy, we have bans. So people can no longer pick the likes. I'm gonna pick Al Kwong. 
so people can no longer pick like the just the super the super good like super good 1v1 gods cuz like you know that in 1v1 joust there's like four or five anubis interesting uh there's like well I don't want to be more joust in Smite, there's like four or five gods and I'm sorry, I already talked about this too. Yeah, there's just like four or five gods. They're basically unstoppable what we want. Their counter is teamwork and in one v one you don't have that, so they're just Mother of God. Oh legendary Anubis. I'm like Anubis. Unusual choice, but we may yet get him. We may yet get him. Though two thousand kills. I'm not not feeling to get him. Not 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 feeling it. So Alright, I'll I'll get this, just get a little bit of movement and attack speed and stuff and we'll see how it goes. Uh what okay, so I'm good legendary moves. i d I'm buying beads. Once I get like six hundred gold I'm buying tier two beads, so I d I don't have to wait an extra fifty seconds to use f fifty or thirty seconds to use them. Uh and I don't know. That I'm gonna have to i I'm getting Magi's blessing third third item. I'll get Magi's Blessing after Devourer's Gloves. And I, it, it's just, man, legendary Anubis. And, and the good thing, though, r actually, you know, the 3v3 Joust I just uploaded as AMC, like, yesterday, it, it was against, it had a Stargazer Anubis in it. That's, like, 40% of why I put it in here. Because I had Stargazer Anubis in it. Uh, I should have tried to do that better. But, but I had Stargazer Anubis in it, and he's just so cool. Uh, as far as I can ascertain, Stargazer Anubis is some sort of, well, Stargazer is some sort of show, and in it, you know, and you know, I could, there's just an Anubis skin of it. <laughs> I'll take that all day. We came out much higher on that trade than he did. He does have health potion, so I mean, obviously there's that. And he's going to clear our wave pretty hard because I wasted my two on him. Not not wasted, I guess, but I used my two to do 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 uh, deal some significant damage to him. <laughs> okay. Dirt, dirt. Oh, I'm not even hitting the tower, am I? All right. You know how long do his basic attacks go? I can't tell. Uh, obviously, not far enough. <laughs> No, gonna. But th that's the thing, though. Now that I've played as an, okay, he's getting his three leveled up. It, it, wa the wave clear is real, and I need to focus. Like, uh, like not focus my mind. I, I should focus my mind. Okay, his alt's up. Gotta watch that. Gotta watch the. What's he got? Vampiric shroud, Bancroft's town. So he's getting. He's obviously getting sustained from Vampiric shroud, but he's also getting some from Bancroft's town and his passive. Is ensuring a ridiculous amount of life steal from that one item. I should put one over here too, so I'm always getting the hive bonus. Uh, I, I've explained how a AMC works a couple times now. How did it, that hit? That hit, I swear. It bugged a bird report to her. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's not doing it. Okay, I I don't know why he didn't alt there. Um, okay. I, if I had my honey, I would totally chase after him. Okay. Looks like he is going to stay and clear the wave. We can harass him quite a bit. Um, or we would if I had mana. I, I misjudged that entirely. Nope. Alright, though. Uh, we did manage to push him back. We're, he's losing some farm. He's losing some farm to the gold. He's losing some gold to the tower. And the tower eats gold. The tower takes farm. Farm is gold. Okay, if we can just stay here, I'll 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 rock that. I'll rock I'll rock that all day long. Oh, he moved forward, not backwards. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do that. We're not. That's not the something. That's not a thing we can do. Not a thing we can do. Barely killed us just by the skin of his teeth. We're actually. I don't want to say we're outplaying him, but we kind of are. Uh, Devourer's Gloves, where are they? I should have enough. There we go, 705. So we need 1445 to finish those off. We're going to we're gonna want to do that as soon as we get the money so we can start building stacks. I, you know, is it, is, it worth build, is it worth putting these two videos together? Because what I'm thinking in my head, the last 1v1 joust I had, the person thought it was Arena Lee. 
it was still an okay game. It you know it was interesting at least. I got to say stuff. Okay, he's smart. He's killing the hives, which I don't like. Uh huh. But th that's the thing is, you can do it from a distance away. Sometimes people don't notice. All right, we'll do that. Lose our poke on him, but I'm I'm okay with it. Uh huh. Gotta always have to be rare wary of his stun. I, I, I haven't really seen him use it yet, but gotta be wary of it, cause at any moment he can just break out the face roll, break out the face roll. So after this, we're gonna, we're gonna start building against Anubis. We're going to start building Adam's do counter. We're gonna start. I'm I, Aegis is a must buy. Like just, just I, I'm saying that I, I, you need to buy Aegis. Uh, you need to also hit your auto attacks, which is my biggest pet peeve and smite. I'm unsuccessful generally at landing my auto attacks. Man, this Anubis really has it going. Uh, there we go. Okay. Man, he's good at... Well, he's not necessarily so good as juking as I am bad at auto attacking. I mean, I swear. If I had a dollar for every time I missed an auto attack, I, I, I wouldn't be playing Smite. I'd be, like, trading stocks in the Caribbean or something. One, two, get out. Yeah, I, I would just be, like, doing... I don't know. I, actually, I probably would still be playing Smite, because I'd be farming my money with auto attacks. So he's got a good deal of health potions, so even those auto attacks we did there aren't going to help that much. Um, we do have enough money to finish off Devourer's Gloves, which I intend to do as soon as I clear this wave. We'll do that. Actually, we kind of have the advantage a little bit. Okay, he he wants to go back, too. I feel that he does. I also feel like we are dangerously close. <laughs> okay. Should have just gone back. That that could have been a death in a different circumstance. Like, if he was more fed, if it was just later game, it would have been a death. So, alright. First, uh, first tier Aegis. Hopefully we're going to try to get that up to uh, 600 as soon as we can. Uh, we're going to get regular Aegis Amulet. Uh, I would like to be able to move and just get out of his alt, but I don't want to use beads and Aegis Amulet on one item. On, not on one item, on one move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually. Whoa! We got him! Cool! <laughs> cool! I, 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 I didn't think that would happen. That, that, that doesn't normally happen. Okay, I mean, I'll totally push his tower. All right, making making up for last time and getting some good stacks on top of it too. I actually don't know how many glove stacks I get for uh, I don't know what to, for uh, man AMC. I feel like he's doing a lot more damage or towers are a lot weaker. I can't tell. All right, well that that gives me enough money to finish off uh, Aegis, and I I would like to do that because I feel face roll coming. I I I I'm sensing face roll. It's it's gross. Oh. Um, missed uh, that last archer there. Jeez, she's doing a lot of damage too. Do they nerf towers? Are towers squishier? I feel like they are. Sorry, we're gonna go back uh, watching him there. Don't, don't, do not like that shady walk he was doing. So we'll get beads, Aegis. Just, I want survivability to get this guy. I, I'm, he's legendary and Uvis. He can land his rafts unless he, maybe he's panicked or something. I don't know. Uh-huh. It's so, alright. Got a good deal of immunity there. See, that's that saved us. We we would be so much worse off right now if we had not done that. <laughs> See, so glad we got it. And now, if he goes for, like, a long-range wrap, we have beads, so and we can just beads out of it. I mean, it's not as simple as beadsing out of it, but still. I'll, I'll, farm, all, I'll farm all day. I have lifesteal. I, I I can just basic attack these guys down. Nice, good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, getting hit by the tower there. Yeah, this is actually pretty interesting. This is a pretty good game. It's just so cool. Do that. He should get all. Should get all gross, all beezed up. Is he doing that there? I I was gonna say that's a bad idea. Oh, for some reason I thought that would work. I I don't know why. I, I'm not entirely sure why at all. Cause it, it, there was he he I had to know he was watching me. 
Ooh, got out. See, like I said, I I wanted survivability. This guy, I got it. it saved my life twice. It, that's the thing. Anubis, good god, easy to counter. Only only bad thing about him. So I'll just stand back here. I'll gladly take the heals from my hive. Get out of there as soon as we can. That's the thing. It, you have to be able to do that like tricky wave clear thing. What was that? Sometimes I do my honey too fast. Yeah, I want to go back to Izuki. Ha! Gotcha. I was watching. You gotta watch the nubs. Wow. We're we're both like super juking. Like, well, cause like Nubus doesn't want to go back. He's just actually he's running low on mana, so he's gonna have to go back at some point. Uh huh. Uh, I have Aegis back, so I mean, you can't. Come on! Oh, that worked. Oh, uh, actually, I I kind of regret this decision, because now I don't have enough mana to place a hive and their five. Pl no. Now I don't have enough mana to place a hive and thereby push his tower. I didn't think this through, really, did I? Oh well. I go back to. I I don't I don't know why I stayed. So I'll finish off beads, get 90 second cooldown on that, so we can escape pretty easily no matter what the circumstance. Uh, it seems like we're holding out pretty well. I don't think he's gonna get a massive breakthrough through anytime soon. So we'll, we'll start building transcendence. Uh, just because AMC is mana hungry, and I don't want a situation like that to happen. I, with this Anubis, I'm not taking any chances. At any point in time, I want to have more mana. I want to have more health. I want to have more mobility. I want to have more everything than this guy. Just no matter... No, stay. Stay, stay. Don't, don't do that. Yep, he stopped. Smart boy. Alright. You know what? Lifesteal, too. Even that little bit of damage we took there. We're getting it straight back. And we've already... He's lost a lot of health. Oh, he still got us. That's actually kind of weird. I, d I didn't think that would work, because we beads. I guess we were kind of close, but still. Anyway, though, we finished off Transit, and so we're start going to start building stacks of that. Uh, we almost got Devourer's Gloves finished, so it's how much? We're getting plus 15. We're getting plus 25 life steal and plus 60 physical power just from this $2,000 item. That is a, a, no matter how you slice it, that is a good investment. So I'll get him the crap out of here. Yeah, yeah. You and your slows. Should've, should've used my alt on him when he was that weak. Mind, you, mind your business. I'm putting, you nug. I don't even know why he was. He is very fond of the false return, of like the false back. That is an interesting, actually, because it's not actually that good of a move. Got him. It's back again. You're joking. Stand on it. Stand on it. Die. Die, Anubis. Die, you god of death, you. That's the thing. My honey. It actually does a ton of damage if you just like straight up stand on it. So that's pretty interesting. Put that up there. Clear this as fast as possible. I want to get into that tower, and I'm pretty sure I can destroy it. All right. Yep. Look at it. It's, go it's down. It is down. Nice. Okay. Poking it. There we go. He's coming. He's like, oh no, they got my tower. All right. It's 8:17 p.m. Let's see. Uh, what should I get next? I'm gonna get. Uh oh no, chin size isn't under life steal anymore. I'm gonna get chin size. Uh, just cause I really want to be able to shred him with my auto attacks, and we'll get tier two. Uh, they did nerf chin. Oh, well there goes our tower if he was there. So we're still on even ground. Oh, and I didn't. Get, I didn't get chin size. Uh, we might. Yep. Min minions killed the tower, so. Oh. Fat lot of that being like a success story. All right, we'll just farm up transcendence. All right. Once we get like, uh, what is it? Once we get a little more gold, we can uh, do something. Movement speed. That is unusual. But yeah, this is actually a pretty good match. I mean, we have one death. It's one two, 
But it's, I don't know, we're pretty evenly matched in skill. I got his tower, he got my tower. I wonder if we can do that thing where, like, he he tries to stand on my stinger. Because that's really good for us if we can put honey around my stinger when he does that, and bees. There. There, there we go. I was going to, well, that was a, that was a half health right there. <laughs> that was a little spooky. Okay, so we'll Aegis, and we're still dead, but he used, he had to use everything to kill us, so. Get that, get that, and I'm gonna, I might have to get Winged Wand, cause this, what is he doing? Does he, does he have Poly? No, he doesn't. Why was he doing that? Two, one, but so yeah, <laughs> e e even our, even our massive amounts of even both of our actives are not enough to really get Anubis. I think he's getting our movement speed. Which is a little unsettling. Maybe he's getting our movement speed and going back. Alright. Well, I'm gonna, I don't need mana, actually. Um, I'm gonna clear this way. I gotta push the... I gotta push the lane up. That's the thing, though. If... With Anubis, he just wants to Phoenix now. He... he the Minotaur is no issue to him. In the slightest, he can take out the Minotaur in a second, like with just his all. Like if he gets in there, and I'm not there, like so, so even or even if I am there, he can use hands and he can use all. That will kill the Minotaur. Uh, hold on a second. 